Hello, my name is James Levitsky from Lawrence Livermore National Lab, and I'm here today to tell you something of our new technology we've developed for additively manufacturing high-performance carbon fiber composites. We have developed a technology to allow us to 3D print high-performance carbon fiber thermoset polymer composites using a process called direct ink write. On your left here, you can see a microextrusion filament 3D printing process which is laying down carbon fiber within a thermoset matrix in a complex and ordered geometry. We can build large parts um, which are freestanding using advanced resin chemistries and we can print at realistic print speeds using this technology. We also rationally optimize the internal structure of our parts using a combination of computational design optimization and toolpath planning algorithms so that we're actually building the right structure with the optimal internal design. Advanced resin chemistries are central to allowing us to 3D print thermoset carbon fiber composites. We have a number of different resin chemistries, including high performance thermal aromatic epoxy resin materials, which can be snap cured at moderate temperatures. Here you see in this video, we are applying one of our 3D printing resins to a hot plate. And when the material reaches the snap cure temperature, um, it will first gel and then cure rapidly. This enables us to build complex parts rapidly in three dimensions. We are also applying UV cationic polymerization chemistries to allow us to gel continuous carbon fiber toes using direct ink write processes again in real time. Here is a developmental process where we are laying down a continuous filamentary toe using a cationic resin which is polymerizing and bonding to the substrate. We've developed these advanced resin chemistries for our 3D printing processes and they allow us this real-time thermal and UV light activated curing. The printing technology itself allows us to control fiber alignment within three dimensions. Here you see in your left a um, 3D printed part and if we examine the microstructure you can see that within this we have also controlled and constrained the orientation of the carbon fibers. This is important to controlling the physical properties of the material and designing in structures. Alignment is through shear and is a function of the printing process. We have optimized this shear alignment process with inner printers by applying advanced customized numerical simulations. This is a Livermore computational simulation of a developmental printhead and it simulates the progressive alignment of fibers over the function of the print geometry. These in-house simulations and modeling capabilities are allowing us to model fiber printing processes at high resolution and avoid iterative and expensive engineering design. Further to this, we rationally design optimal and printable part microstructures so that we print the right part with the right structure for the correct application. An example we show here is a simple design case, a clevis pin, and we want to optimize this part for strength and stiffness in one direction. We can use a design optimizer algorithm to give us a mathematically optimized solution to the process. This, however, may not be printable using current technology. Therefore, we apply a second layer of toolpath planning optimization, which constrains the build further and allows us to digitize a printable decodable path, which retains the original optimization. These parts can then be printed and tested. We have closed the loop between mathematical optimization toolpath planning and actual 3D printing and we can now print realizable optimized structures. Advanced resins and fiber alignment yield favorable properties in 3D printed parts. On your left you can see tensile stress strain data for our neat resin systems without any carbon fiber. Livermore's in-house aromatic epoxy resin compares favorably to commercial amine cured systems but suffers none of the limitations of these two component systems. And while not as stiff as a high performance cyanate ester such as Novoset based materials, it is significantly less brittle. 
On your right here, you can see the um, comparable mechanical properties between classical chopped fiber composites and shear lined additively manufactured composites. At equivalent volume fractions, additively manufactured materials outperform random fiber chopped parts every time by a significant fraction. This is due to a combination of alignment and microstructural control. In compression, our printed parts are outperforming engineering plastics and are showing comparable performance to certain grades of aluminum. Um, you can see here on the Ashby chart on your left that low density 3D printed carbon fiber lattices outperform polycarbonate, nylon, ABS, styrene and other common engineering plastics and they have comparable compression strength to aluminum despite being significantly less dense. This offers great potential advantages for applications where light weighting are required and our current generation materials are easily outperforming the commercial substrates in use today in many 3D printing applications. Our 3D printed materials display orthotropic, mechanical, electrical and thermal properties. Again, this is a function of the purposeful alignment of the carbon fibres within the structure. On your right, you can see a unidirectional print of a carbon fibre filled composite and it has an orthotropic electrical response. Parallel to the direction of printing, the material is somewhat conductive. Um, a four point probe measurement will give you one semen per centimetre squared. If you perform the same measurement perpendicular to the direction of printing, the conductivity is several orders of magnitude less. The part is effectively directionally electrically conductive and as a function of its microstructure. You can take this orthotropy in electrical and thermal properties further and on your left here you see directionality and thermal conductivity of a 3D printed part. This simple demonstration shows the potential to make controlled thermal and electrical optimized materials as well as mechanically optimized materials. With rational control of the composite microstructure achieved through 3D printing technology, we can now build into designs multiple controlled orthotropic physical properties beyond optimized mechanical. The current technology readiness level of our technology is between TRL level two and three. We have several working prototypes and can build parts to demonstrate specific concepts. The technology requires additional maturation for full commercialization, for example, scale up of printer technology. The technology is currently ready for small scale niche application of chopped fiber AM processes. Further engineering development is required for scale up and the full implementation of continuous 3D filament printing. While there are no insurmountable technology showstoppers, the overall technology requires a significant development to push it to and above technology readiness level four. Potential applications for this technology include light weighting of casings and load bearing members. Target customers include the defense, aerospace and automotive industries. The dominant current practice today for light weighting remains the use of non-ferrous alloys and conventional carbon fibre composite layups. Further potential application space includes new robust polymer non-thermoplastic based feedstocks for existing additive processes, for example press forms for metal casting. The dominant current practice today involves using thermoplastics and FDM which cannot be reused multiple times due to insufficient strength and durability. Multi-property orthotropic materials for the aerospace, defense and microelectronics industries are another potential application. Materials with built-in directional, thermal, electrical and mechanical properties tailored to specific application are realizable with a generation of this technology. Dominant current practice today is to build multi-component assemblies out of many different discrete functional parts, for example, a cell phone. However, I would ask you to imagine one continuous material that could both bear load, transmit information, direct thermal energy, and physical shock. This is possible with an iteration of all of the components of this technology which we have shown you today. Why is our technology competitive and what differentiates us from current technologies? 
In structural applications, we are competing against both lightweight metals and conventional carbon fiber composites. However, our technology offers certain advantages in the complexity and flexibility of the design that we can print. On AM feedstocks, we're competing against thermoplastics. Our materials offer significant advantages in both thermal and mechanical properties over these materials, despite the fact that some of them already use aligned carbon fibers. Our thermoset matrix gives us a very large competitive advantage. I would like to thank you for your attention, and for more information on this technology opportunity, please contact our Innovations and Partnership Office. Thank you.